everybody, it's Avalon, and it is Monday morning, and it is pouring down rain. We're about ready to get a snowstorm, and I celebrated my six years clean on the 28th, day before yesterday, and I'm, you know, I'm proud of myself, but According to some people on, you know, that come and comment on this channel, I'm, I'm just pretending to be clean because I take Kratom and that I'm not really clean. Um, under my red bubble video where I showed you guys how to make red bubble, someone commented under there and said, uh, and you're not trying to get in you're not trying to get high or, or something about me trying to get high and here's the thing okay if I wanted to get high I would go back to using heroin um, if I wanted to get high I wouldn't mess around with some you know plant that gives you a kind of a mood lift which I don't even get anymore I'd use it more for pain I mean why would I if I wanted to get high why wouldn't I go back to something I know would get me fucking high it makes no sense but you know what it the kratom does do for me I don't have a needle in my arm I don't have to I can't take pain meds because I'm an addict and I wouldn't want to when there's something natural out there I can use. So I can't take pain meds. I choose not to take pain meds. I can't take Xanax for my nerves. Um, I can't, I don't want to take antidepressants. I've been there, done that. So for me, Kratom is all of those wrapped up into one, but safer and less addictive. Is it addictive? Yeah. Okay, here's a pain meds addictive. And here's Kratom addictive. Um, and so, you know, I, and people who, you know, talk about, you know, um, Suboxone and people are just getting high off of Suboxone and nodding off on Suboxone for the, somebody made a comment about, I don't want to be nodding off on Suboxone for the rest of my life. Um, guys... After you've taken Suboxone for a few days, you don't get that opiate any that opiate high anymore. You level off, and there's a ceiling effect. I if I were to take a half a strip of Suboxone, and I'd been on it for let's say a month, maybe two months. Let's say two months. I and I took half a strip every day. After two months, if I decided I wanted to take a, a whole strip, it would not make me high. It has a ceiling effect. The naloxone in it is, you know, causes it to not work as like an opiate, like um, heroin. You can take Suboxone and you're not, you're, you, and if you were to try to shoot up on it, you're not going to get high because it has naloxone in it. Okay? So although Suboxone doesn't fix Prop, fix the problems and, and all that stuff. It, it's a tool. It's a tool and an aid of addiction. Kratom is a tool. It is a safe alternative for those of us who, for one reason or the other, don't want to, choose not to, can't take um, prescription medications. And those of us who want to live a more um, natural life. And those of us who have done the research and those of us who, you know, I sit and listen to hours of Kratom videos and scientific studies that have been done. There's not been many. There's a man called um, named Stephen, I think it's Stephen McCurdy, 
He's a scientist. He's a chemist. He has done a, um, an extensive study and research on Kratom and all the different alkaloids. And, um, I, I mean, I just sit and watch all this stuff. I'm not coming at you guys from an opinion, oh, I just take Kratom. I'm coming from you from opinion that I am an addict, heroin addict. I um, am in recovery and have been for six years. I do the study and the research on Kratom. And I'm coming at you with an informed opinion. An informed fact. Okay? Kratom is about a quarter addictive than regular opiates. And like I said, you got to be wanting recovery. You, you got to not be just wanting something to get, get off on. And if that's the case and you can't handle Kratom because it triggers something in you to, to want to use, don't take it. You know? Um, so I, I just, it frustrates me and, you know, that people come on here on my channel leave little comments as they're as they're trolling by and saying how I want to get high you don't know me you have no idea what I've done where I've been the hard work that I have put into my recovery and how I hold on to my recovery very tight and I would not suggest something that would be dangerous I would not be taking something that they know there's something out there and I don't know the name of it um, it is it's some pill and you can get it from China um, and it gives you opiate high um, I saw a video about it a couple videos about it and how it really has ruined people's lives now, if I wanted to get high, I would be getting into all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I do. Anyway, I'm just venting, guys. I just, I get frustrated. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to help people and try to offer you guys a solution to addiction uh, medications and... Uh, stress medications, anxiety medications, depression medications. That if you if you can't and you or you choose not to, there is not there are alternatives. That's it, and that there's hope in recovery. There's hope for addiction. There is hope. I'm walking proof of it. That's all. So all right, I gotta go. Brightest blessings and God is blessed.